huge rock contains a very unique fossil, an almost complete mummy of a hadrosaur. It's one of the few cases where the fossil contains not only bones, but also preserved tissues, including skin, tendons, and ligaments. In 1999, teenager Tyler Lyson discovered the tail of the fossil while he was walking around his uncle's ranch in North Dakota. It was too late in the year to start digging up the ground, so he simply made note of where it was. He returned to the site five years later with a team to excavate the fossil. That's when they noticed dinosaur skin impressions, which are very rare and could reveal new information about the dinosaurs. Since then, paleontologist Phil Manning and his team from Manchester University have worked closely with Tyler and his colleagues at the Marmoth Research Foundation, excavating the site and removing two huge rocks, one encasing the tail and one containing the bulk of the body. The removal of the body required careful planning as it weighed more than 12,000 pounds, or 5.4 tons. The team took many rock samples back to Manchester for further examination. They also scanned the cast of a hadrosaur skeleton from another location to begin creating a 3D computer model of the animal. But to get the full picture, they needed a way to see inside the huge rocks and get a glimpse of the dinosaur skeleton relative to the fossilized skin. Boeing offered to let them use the world's largest CT scanner in California, which is owned by NASA and typically used to test aircraft and spacecraft parts. Using images like this one from scans of the dinosaur's tail, the researchers were able to estimate the spacing between vertebrae. When they looked at the bones and the preserved soft tissue together, it revealed the dinosaur bones are about one centimeter apart, not butted up against one another as often displayed in museums. The dinosaur was in such good condition that muscle mass and volume could be calculated for the first time, giving more insight into how hadrosaurs looked and moved. The team found that their backsides were actually about 25% bigger than was previously thought. This would have helped the creatures reach speeds of around 28 miles per hour. That's about 10 miles per hour faster than T-Rex. Thanks to these fossil hunters, we have a better idea of what was running around 65 million years ago.